All right, so what's up, what's up, what's up? What's going on, what's rocking? How you doing today? Chilling. Tell the people who we rocking with. We rocking with Ruzi Ruzi. Yeah, yeah. Bandit, Bandit Fashion. See, see, y'all hear that? We rocking with Ruzi Ruzi. Uh, so let's get started. Like, where did you grow up at? I grew up in the bird. I'm originally from Philly. Came to Pittsburgh like 2001 type shit. Been on the east side. Been all around this motherfucker. Fuck with the bird, you dig me? I adapted to this shit, so that's what it is. Four one two shit. Okay, okay. Now you said that you grew up in Philly. How was it growing up in Philly? I mean, I was I was young. Like I came I came to Pittsburgh when I was twelve, so I was still like a kid out there type shit. Just the city, you know what I mean? I jumped off the porch and I was like, "This where I started getting this shit." And I came to the bar, linked up with a couple of my I mean, young shit, I'm with this shit, start getting this shit. But I never, you know what I mean? Like. I never been a blood, never been a crib, never been, I mean, into that shit. Like, I've been with the gangster shit, but that gang bang shit, I never been with that shit. I mean, never been with that shit. I've always been like my own person. Like that shit done myself, do shit myself. Make this rap shit happen myself, I'll be myself. Self made again, do this shit myself. Right, for sure, for sure. So uh, what made you get into music or start on music? Like, it was like the hot boy right I fucked it with the hot boys, heavy listening to that shit. I mean, the bird is really not much to do. I mean, you going to the club, you just playing football, you rapping and shit. This like, I've been doing this rap shit since before CDs. I've been recording on karaoke this shit. Like, I've been doing this shit. Like, you did me like, I'm just, I'm just now really going hard with this shit. I, I'm still not even all the way out there. Like, you me? It's like. Like, yeah, I want a couple dollars out this shit. I, li I like doing that shit. It ain't, you know what I mean? It ain't all about money with me, but I do want to get a couple dollars out this shit. You think me by having to take over the shit, then that's what the fuck it is. Then we out here. You know what I mean? Right, for sure. Um, so, what is your musical background, if any? Did anybody in your family do music or produce beats? No, this music shit. I had a, I had a group and shit. We was in a group when I was younger. I mean, PYT, PGA shit. I mean, we did that shit. Put out a mixtape that I want solo. You know, that's what it is. Like, I'm a solo type of nigga. You dig me? I move on my own solo shit. But I do, like right now, I rock with a group right now. Street Brand of Dandy, you dig me? But I'm on my solo shit right now. Bandit Fire, that's what it is. Bandit Fire to the Brick. Just dropped a video like two days ago. Go check that shit out on YouTube. Mixtape coming soon. Bandit Fire shit. Y'all heard him. Make sure y'all check that out as well. Um, so what other cities besides Pittsburgh have you performed in, if any yet? I performed in Philly. I performed out, like, what was that? In Ken, Desperately, still the same place. Ambridge, shit like that. No major cities yet. Okay, okay. I'm sure there's something to come. <laughs> now, um, working, do you work with any groups? Or are you affiliated with any labels? We bring the bandits, and I'm, I'm working with my nigga Adidas Don right now. Um, I'm, I'm, whoever want to work, shit, we get this shit. I mean, if you really try and work, not just, I mean, motherfuckers be talking that shit. No, I'm really trying to work. I'm trying to put a bed behind this shit. I'm trying to perform to this shit. I'm trying to get this shit moving. You dig me? Like, I, this bandit fat shit, this shit is just a bunch of singles I got. This is a bunch of singles I put out, so fuck it. This shit adding up to a mixtape. We're going to fucking do a mixtape with this shit. Mm -hmm. I mean, you gonna try to get a couple dollars on this shit. That's gonna be lit. That's gonna be lit. Now, speaking of the Bandify mixtape um, coming out, uh, your front cover of Hot XX magazine, so that's a it big is. thing, man. It we is. see your shirt. <laughs> How does it that feel? Magazine. That shit feel good. Like, that shit feel good, especially the first issue when I mean, I'm on the front cover. That shit feel it's all love. You dig me? Make sure y'all check this shit out. Like, it definitely feel real good to be on the motherfucking front cover. Pittsburgh local magazine type shit is coming soon. Make sure y'all check that shit out. Right, right, right. Now, musically, what are your biggest influences or uh, some of your favorite musicians? My favorite, I, I like Future. I like that. I like that 2003. I'm still on that 2003 Get Rich or Die Trying 50 Cent shit. And the old Cash Money Hot Boys. And Fad, Jay Z. Out the new era, Twenty One Savage, that nigga hard, that nigga talking that shit, and yeah, yeah, that's about it for real. 
Okay, okay. Um, I what? don't really got no main favorites on this. The rap shit crazy right now. Y'all know how this shit is. I ain't really. Ain't, I mean. Right. <laughs> really can't pin no. I mean, no favorites right now. Right, which is understandable. Um, what hip hop albums did you actually grow up listening to that maybe inspired you? Or mixtapes? Uh, Cash Money shit, Big Timers, Lights Out, 400 Degrees, that Juvenile shit, yeah, that 400 Degrees, that shit was hot. That's that shit, that 400 Degrees. True. We're, now, even though you're from Philly, how do you, you know, how do you view, what do you think of the Pittsburgh music scene here? I mean, the shit is growing, like, it's a, it's a slow process, but it's, I mean, it's coming along. It's coming along. The what? last, the last nigga that blew on a major scale, and like the only nigga was Wiz Khalifa, the dude Mac Miller, we got the nigga Hardo, Jimmy Wapo coming up. I like the nigga Flatline Nosy. I mean, it's a couple niggas. It's it's girl, it's a slow process. This this city is but so big. I mean, like it's everything's slow. This shit is it's slow out here. I mean, that's why I had to adapt to this shit. Shit is slow out here, but shit's still moving. Right? Mhm. Which is yeah. A lot of artists have actually said the same thing as well. Um, everybody has their own views on things, especially depending on who you work with. Um, who have you actually worked with in the past year or since you've been rapping? I work with a couple motherfuckers. I, like, band of game, Chicago niggas, you did. My nigga D the Don. My nigga knows D. Had me rapping on them R&B beats. We gonna get back to that shit. You know what I mean? I work with a couple of my friends. Who they can. Okay. Right now, like I've been doing a lot of solo shit lately, so I've been working with myself heavy. Okay. I mean, I'm dropping this band. My nigga Ace, me and my nigga Ace, we about to go to Michigan on the first. Go check out this motherfucking show out there. Uh, Nipsey Hustle, DJ Afterthought, Riff Rap. All of my fuckers gonna be out there. It's gonna be alright. How would you describe uh, your own style with the music? My style, I think like, my style is definitely different. I don't, I don't, nobody ever told me I sound like, you know what I mean? Especially that old Ruzi, if you go back, if you ever heard of my own shit, that you know for a fact like that, I probably should've even stayed with that shit. But my style now is just more like, I don't write as much. When I'm in the studio, I'm doing punch ins Like, I'm trying to get this shit moving, I'm doing punch ins I mean, still going hard with this shit, right here and there. But I'm just focused on this band fast shit right now. Trying to get this shit moving. Hopefully this shit do what they need to do. Like like my last mixtape, motherfuckers definitely be showing me love. With the You Rockin' With Ruzi Roo, I was right there out Fifth, fifth and Wood selling that shit. Like, right where I caught my case at, that shooting case, right downtown. Nigga, went back, sold my motherfucking mixtape, made over like, 3,000 doing that shit, selling them five dollars a copy. Right there, Fifth and Wood is all good. You rock with Ruzi Roo. You think me I was out there? Oh, um, her. That's crazy. At least you turned, you know, uh, such a negative situation into a positive one. And now you have a newer memory right. at that spot. So that's right. what's up. That's definitely what's up. Now, you mentioned that um, you punch in and out. Do you write your own music as well? Yeah, or yeah, freestyle? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Okay, yeah. okay. Um, in what ways has your um, newest music changed from when you first started? I mean, I, I'm still hungry for this shit. This is probably my style. That's probably my style. Probably my style a little different. I'm more, on, I'm more on point with this shit now. I mean, I'm taking my time. Like, I'm, I'm doing, yeah, I'm doing a lot of shit different. Like, I'm putting the music out there different. I mean, I got a lot of tracks I'm holding on to. Like. I got the money checks. I got the money checks I'm holding on to. Okay, okay. See, y'all make sure y'all look out for that because they coming. <laughs> um, so what are the main inspirations for the lyrics you write? Life. This shit real life. Like, like, you ain't gonna hear me talking in Hollywood shit. You don't hear me talking about expensive cars and shit like that like, because I don't got that shit right now. That shit coming though. But you gonna hear me talking about that real shit, nigga. You gonna hear me talking about that shit. Like, right. Um, is there any artist that you maybe want to work with? Whoever. Whoever want to get this shit rolling. Like, I don't got no problem with nobody. I don't dislike nobody. You know what I mean? If I got beef, it's because the motherfucker don't like me. 
And nigga, you know what I mean? If a nigga don't like me, it's probably because I fucked this bitch. That's plenty shit. I ain't gonna be for no bitch. But I don't have no problems with nobody. I'm just doing these. You know what I mean? Trying to live my motherfucking life. Stand out the motherfucking way. You know I mean, if a motherfucker don't like me, that's that's their personal problem. I work with anybody who wanna get this shit rolling. Right, right, right. Um, um, what would be your dream venue in which to perform in? So where would you like to perform at? Out Cali. I wanna perform out Cali. That shit was lit out there. Like the scenery, the feeling, the vibe, that shit. Yeah, Cali. Okay, yeah. Cali's a big thing. A lot of people are like Atlanta, Cali, New York. Right. Those are like the main three. Philly, a lot of people are actually going to Philly now and doing shows. What was the Philly uh, music scene like down there? It was right. It was definitely love. Definitely love. Okay. If you had to choose to be in either or, which Philly or Pittsburgh, which you probably are, which one would you choose over? I'm, I'm already burned out. It's too late. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm already rapping. Right, right. Um, so for the people who aren't already following you on social media, where can they find your music or where can they search you? Well, I, want, I, I just did three videos this year, put them out, and I got a couple more coming. I want them to go to my YouTube. Okay. Go to YouTube. I mean, type in Ruzi, you know what I mean? Grab, just go to the net and Google, wherever that shit take you. Facebook, Twitter, Insta, Instagram. I don't got no Snapchat yet, but that shit coming. I mean, wherever this shit take you, I mean, like I said, I got the money checks. That shit gonna go to iTunes, so I got some shit coming, you know what I mean? Like, I'm building up. as I'm progressing. I'm progressing, like, I mean, right now I'm just testing this shit. I'm trying to get my fans out right now, so I ain't really paying too much shit up. Like I said, that's why I'm making these singles. This shit add up to a mixtape, so we gonna go ahead and put it out as a mixtape. I mean, I got like, vid I got three vids to three tracks already. I got two more videos I'm trying to do. I got some shit. I got some shit in the cut, man. Like, but that's the thing, like, the support system in the bird ain't, it ain't that strong for real, like. It's weak as fuck, like. I mean, like, this shit, I don't know. Y'all know how it is, this shit crazy. Like, you gotta be your biggest fan, you dig me? Like, like I'm my biggest fan, I fuck with you, you dig me? Like, nigga. I like my own status on Facebook because I fuck with me, you dig me? I fuck with me, heavy nigga. I'm my own motherfucking person, you dig me? I don't blame nobody for where the fuck I'm at. Like, I'm the reason why I like me. All this shit is me, nigga. Like, when I take off, it's gonna be because of me, you dig me? Like, nobody gonna say, nigga, you know what I mean? They fed my plate, nigga. I did this shit myself, nigga. I did this shit myself. Straight up. Right. Yeah. Do you have any advice for any upcoming music artists who maybe have dream of being a rapper or? Man, this shit gonna get hard, but you gotta stay. At, like I quit a couple times. Like I mean, say fuck it. Like, but you gotta be dedicated to this shit. Like you gotta really go hard. Like you cannot listen to it. Like you cannot be. You don't let your bitch in your ear. You cannot let your bitch in your ear. Like you, she cannot be your manager. That shit. Like. Certain shit, I mean, you gotta go hard for you. You gotta do this shit for you. Stay at this shit. Don't give up. Keep going fucking hard. Like, you'll elevate. This shit coming. Everybody get their time to shine. Like, you know what I mean? Like, keep coming. Like, go hard with this shit, man. Focus on you. You know what I mean? Right. Is there any special shout out you wanna give to anybody? I'll give a shout out to Street Brandon Bennett, my nigga Dougie King. Stone the game. Give a shout out to Lady T, Nose D. Give a shout out to my nigga Gregory. Give a shout out to everybody who watching this shit. Anybody who see this shit. Give a shout out to my kids. Give a shout out to everybody who fucking me. Fuck me. I give you a motherfucking shout out. That's what it is. You dig me? You rapping with these group. Being the fast shit coming soon. You dig me? Like, I'm just trying to get this shit rolling. Trying to get my motherfucking fans up. Like, the shit's coming, y'all. Just fuck with me. When I drop this shit, I'm gonna hit the block again and be right there again. Fifth one wheels on good, you know what it is? Then it's that shit. You dig me? I'm crafting, I'm working. Like, I need to get on more shows, so if you if you know any shows coming up and a bird hit me the fuck up, dig me like, I'm trying to get the fuck out here with this shit. And I've been doing this shit for a minute, it's just, it's levels to this shit, like, it's levels to this shit. And it's the money, you dig me? Like, Money come and go, like, you know what I mean? The money ain't always right, I mean, shit coming out, shit be fucked up, like, 
I'm a real nigga. I'm not out here, you know what I mean, fronting. Nigga, this shit is what it is, what it is. Like, you dig me? I got a crazy background. Yeah, I, I regret that shit. The shit I did, nigga, like, fucked up my whole life. You know what I mean? Shit, it is what it is, though. You know I mean, this bandit flat shit, this is a ticket. This is a ticket. Like, I don't, I don't play basketball, so I'm on this rap shit. You know what I mean? This shit, I'm trying to turn this shit into a ticket. Get a couple of dollars off this shit. Even if I don't make it big, just gonna get a couple of dollars off this shit. You know what I mean? Say, say, give back to me, so I give back to the people. So I everybody supporting me. Just fuck with me. Like, just go to, just go check out one of my tracks. Like, that might be, you wanna check out some other shit. Like, my SoundCloud. Just type in Ruzi. Ruzi Road. You rock over this shit. That's what it is. Been the fact so you see I'm on the front cover of this shit. You dig me? Hot magazine. That's how we rock. Flat out. You rock over with me. Dirty shit. If shorty back door you, she's a dirty bitch. Ever nigga run his mouth, you probably a fucking snitch. Ever nigga don't like me, I probably fuck this bitch.